Okay, so welcome back to. This is not a new how to, but this is a. Uh, this is a better version of one of my past ones on how to play Super Mario World ROM hacks. I just want to make it better because that last one was kind of crappy as it wasn't even done with a screen recorder. Um, let's go over the things you'll need. You'll need Super Mario World. You will need. Z SNES. I think the current one is 1.51. So, there you go. Those are really the only programs. And of course, your Super Mario World ROM hack. So, the first thing you want to do is central.net. You want to scroll down to hacks on the side. Um, just find your hack for this demonstration. I will be downloading every level Iggy. I've never played it all the way through, so uh, maybe you guys will eventually get treated to a nice let's play of it. But um, just going to download it for demonstrational purposes. Drag it out. I believe almost, if if not every single file on the site is a .zip file, so shouldn't every you shouldn't have any problems with WinRAR. If you're playing it on a Mac, then get 7Z. I just use 7Z because it's faster. That's, that's really the only reason why. Um, <clears throat> open up this file. You'll notice it has this patch file. Sometimes it'll have a README. Um, just drag your Super Mario World game into it. And then you want to right click on this. Um, yeah, rename. Sorry. Copy. Right click on this. Rename. Paste. Make sure the the extensions stay the same. And then open it up with ZSNES. That is the final part to test to make sure it works. And uh, it, it looks like it works. Um, it's custom title screen, which most of them are on that site. So, um, I hope that uh, helped. <laughs> um, but that's that's pretty much it. The only thing you need is the Super Mario World game, IPS, um, ZSNES, or any emulator you want. Um, if you are on a Mac, ZSNES will not work. It is Windows slash DOS. Don't know why the hell you'd be using DOS anymore, but it works on only Windows and DOS. You need another program called SNES 9X. Look it up. Um, that one will work on Macs. <clears throat> and uh, pretty much the only big thing is you just have to make sure the IPS and the SMC file have the same uh, the same root name. I guess you could say I really don't know the technical term for it. The name that's not the extension. And uh, after that, just open it up in your emulator and you're done. Thank you guys. Bye.